वन मोर ट्रिवियल फैक्ट विच विल बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और मे बी इंटरेस्टिंग टू समबडी द रीजन वाई ब्लू चिप स्टॉक्स आर कॉल्ड ब्लू चिप स्टॉक्स हेलो नमस्ते पेचेक टू वैम मनीष आहुजा दिस इज पेचेक टू प्रॉफिट इंडिया फर्स्ट यूट्यूब चैनल डेडिकेटेड टू योर फाइनेंशियल फ्रीडम on this channel we create videos on 4th 14th and 24th of every month where i talk to you about your financial freedom investments how to manage your money and so on and so forth so if you haven't subscribed to this channel already or this is the first time you've actually discovered this channel welcome please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified every time i come up with a new video in today's video i'm going to be talking to you about the whole concept and meaning of the terms blue chip large cap mid cap and small cap stocks these terms are given to these stocks based on the market capitalization of the company in the stock market to explain to you in simple terms market capitalization is equals to the current value of the stock multiplied by the total number of stocks being traded in the markets so for example the current market price of the shares of company abc is 100 rupees and there are 1000 shares of company abc listed in the stock markets the total market capitalization of this company is going to be 10000 rupees so as i have told you in the earlier videos that number of shares of every company that is listed in the stock market can run into millions and millions accordingly the total value and market capitalization of each company can run into thousands and thousands of crores and even lakhs of crores for every company that is why these terms help you understand the overall size of the company in the market ideally we should be talking about blue chip companies first but to understand the concept of blue chip companies it's important to understand what large cap companies mean to begin with Although there is no stated definition per se for large cap, mid cap, and small cap companies, there is a general understanding that if the overall market capitalization of a company is ranging between twenty thousand crores to three lakh fifty thousand crores, all companies coming under this umbrella would be treated as large cap companies. and as i said to understand the overall concept of blue chip companies it's important to understand the concept of large cap companies companies whose market capitalization has remained in the range of large cap companies for a consistent number of years let's say 5 10 years or more are considered as blue chip companies two more areas of contention for blue chip companies is the fact that most mutual funds have invested heavily in these companies and the fact that these companies declare dividend for their shareholders on regular basis if you are wondering if there are many companies that actually fall into the purview of large cap and blue chip companies yes there are it's just that because our exposure to share market is limited we do not understand the magnitude of the size of these companies or the market capitalization of these companies for example i'm shooting this video on august 11 2019 and the estimated market capitalization Value of Infosys Limited as of today is three lakh thirty nine thousand two hundred and forty four crores. Moving on to mid cap stocks now. All companies whose market capitalization that lies between five thousand to twenty thousand crores are labeled as mid cap stocks. Investors invest heavily in mid cap stocks because they want to invest in companies which have a future growth prospect. so a company which is big enough to be 5000 crores or around 20000 crores will probably do good in the future in a growing economy like ours hence many investors who have a long term perspective of investing for more than 3 or 5 years could look at quality mid cap stocks and now moving on to the last category of small cap stocks this will be very easy to understand because all companies whose overall market capitalization is below 5000 crores will be treated as small cap stocks so paycheck pros do you realize all these terms which seem so confusing and intimidating they are actually pretty logical it's just that you don't know the reasoning behind these terms one more trivial fact which will be very important or maybe interesting to somebody the reason why blue chip stocks are called blue chip stocks is because when the overall concept was getting popular the value of blue chip in poker used to be around 200 dollars so companies whose trading price at that point of time was around 200 dollars started getting referred to as blue chip stocks well now that logic does not stay anymore but the term has stuck i hope you found this video to be informative and interesting if you like this video please do not forget to like the video share it on all social media channels so that more and more people can get introduced to paycheck to profit 
and as i said earlier do not forget to subscribe so that's about it from me in today's video now i'll see you in the next video until then keep smiling take care of your loved ones and stay happy kaching